हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर नीरज एंड दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट द मकैनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ एनजाइम्स मीन्स हाउ एनजाइम्स वर्क एंड वट आर द मॉडल्स दैट वर गिवन फॉर द एनजाइमेटिक एक्शन दैट विल ऑल्सो बी क्लियर इन दिस वीडियो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दैट हाउ एनजाइम वर्क सो फॉर दिस यू शुड नो वन थिंग दैट इज एक्टिवेशन एनर्जी सो एक्टिवेशन एनर्जी इज दैट एनर्जी which is required by any chemical reaction to get started so it is you can say minimum energy which is required for the reaction to get proceed like in this diagram you can see these are the reactants and if they will be converted into this product they have to pass this energy barrier so this is the activation energy and without enzyme as you can see this diagram is for without enzyme so without enzyme this activation energy is more for the substrate or reactant to you can say cover but in presence of enzyme here this is the diagram in the presence of enzyme now you can clearly notice that this activation energy is now lowered so this enzyme they just lower down the activation energy so in this way they proceed or they make you can say they just fast the chemical reaction so by just decreasing the activation energy the enzymes they make the reactions very much faster now what are the models that were given for the mechanism of enzymatic action so they were two models popular model first one is the lock and key model and another is the induced fit model so first i am discussing the lock and key model here in this model this was given by emil fischer in 1894 and according to this model the active site of enzyme it is a rigid shape means the active site of enzyme it do not change it has a very rigid shape and only the substrate that has the perfect match with that active site will fit into the active site any other substrate that is not properly match or completely match with the active site will not enter the active site so it will not proceed for the you can say reaction so only the completely matched substrate will enter the active site and they will bind to the enzyme so here just for representation this lock as this model says lock and key model so this lock it represent the enzymes and this key it represent the substrate so as the key is specific for its lock as you know a particular lock always open with its specific key similarly in case of enzymes a particular substrate is specific for a particular enzyme or you can say the particular enzyme is specific for a particular substrate according to this lock and key model and what it exactly says that the shape of active site it never changed only the perfect matched substrate will enter the active site of enzyme just like the key opens a particular lock so here if you imagine a reaction is just to open this lock so this key if with the key is of this particular lock only in that case this lock will open otherwise the other keys they will not work so here if this key represent the substrate so now the reaction is just to open so now you can see the as this substrate enter the active site just like this key enter inside the lock so at the substrate enter inside the enzyme then the reaction proceed as as you can see now the this lock has been opened which is the product of the reaction so according to this lock and key model it says that this you can say this enzyme and this substrate they should be 100% compatible or the substrate should exactly fit into the active site and active site will not change its conformation or shape it is a rigid molecule now the next model is induced fit model it was given by koshland in 1958 and according to this model active site is not a rigid entity it it is flexible means it can 
it can change its shape according to substrate so that it can properly fit into the substrates if you can say according to lock and key model active site is rigid it do not change its shape but according to this induced fit model active site is not rigid it can change its shape it is flexible and the shape of this active site the shape of enzyme and the substrate they can adjust to maximize the fit which ultimately increase the catalysis or the catalyzed reaction rate here in order to understand this model so here a brief animation so for example this is the enzyme and here this is the active site which is just uh, written here so this groove this groove represent the active site and now this green triangle it represent the substrate now you can see the active site is not properly fitting fitting into this substrate molecule but according to induced fit model that enzyme can the active site can modified or can change its shape so that it can properly fit into the substrate so like this now this enzyme has the active site of enzyme has changed its shape now you can say see that there is a very it a proper fitting of this substrate this green one and this enzyme that is yellow one molecule so now the proper fit is there between the enzyme and substrate now as the substrate is proper fitted into enzyme so now reaction will proceed this substrate is converted into product these this blue and these you can say this magenta blocks they represent the product so as the product form now the product will be released from the active sites and this enzyme is ready for the next action or next reaction so this induced fit model it is the most accepted model because according to this model active site can change its shape it is flex it is flexible not a rigid molecule although the loken key says it was it is a rigid molecule but this this model induced fit says that it's a flexible molecule and this model it works with majority of enzyme so that why it is the you can say most accepted model now what are the steps of enzymatic reaction so the enzymatic reaction it proceed via following step the first step is that the enzyme and the substrate molecule they combine here you can see this is the enzyme molecule and this is the substrate molecule so they combine in the first step they combine to form enzyme substrate complex as you can see in this diagram the next step is this enzyme substrate complex this es it is changed into enzyme product complex like this this is the es means enzyme substrate complex it will change into enzyme product complex but there is a intermediate stage between this enzyme substrate complex and enzyme product complex and that is the transition state this stage the transition state is that state in which there is equal probability that either product will be formed or the substrate will release as it is from the enzyme means there is equal probability that reaction may proceed in either direction either for the this enzyme product complex direction or either in the back direction so this is the transition state and ultimately if the reaction cross this transition state so it will ultimately reach to this enzyme product complex and the next step as you can see the enzyme product complex has been completed and in the next step as you know the product has been formed so now this product will be released from the active site of enzyme like e and p means enzyme is now free and product is released from this active site of this enzyme so this enzyme it is now ready for another substrate or you can say it is now ready for the another enzymatic reaction so in this way the enzyme that do not used up in reactions one single enzyme can catalyze thousands of reaction because enzyme is not used up it is not utilized in the reaction at the end of reaction it is released as a free molecule and now ready for the another substrate so these are the steps by which the enzymatic reaction proceeds so that's all for this enzymatic action that how enzymes works the model of enzymatic action that is lock and key and 
induce fit and ultimately the steps of enzymatic reaction so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much